Before we dive into this week's video, make sure you go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com where you can subscribe and get 10% off all of our playbooks. Look, whether you're a brand new coach or you've been coaching for years, we have the playbook for you. You can click on playbooks and grab the full playbook. That gives you over 120 plays, templates, practice schedules, Look, that is the all-in-one solution. Or you can grab an age-based playbook bundle or even the age-based play packs as well. A lot of solutions for you as a new coach or experienced coach. You can put your information down here as well and I'll get that discount code to you instantly. Now you can scroll down and you'll see all of our playbooks are listed here. We even have our brand new drill pack that you can get 15 of my best defensive drills that will help you build a shutdown defense. You'll love that it has not only the video walkthrough, but also a diagram so that you can easily print them out, take them to the field and get it done. I also added my most popular videos to help you gain confidence with not only drills, but also defense techniques, throwing techniques, and more. And finally, if you don't know whether this works or it doesn't, you can click on testimonials and you will see hundreds of reviews from coaches, parents, you'll even see comments from YouTube, and we have hundreds of coaches that have spoken up and said this stuff works. So make sure that you subscribe today and I will send you a welcome email within seconds. Now let's dive in to this week's video. Hi everyone, this is Coach D and today I'm gonna teach you how to rush the quarterback. How to shut down that offense and build that shut down defense that we've been talking about. And one of the key factors of that is your rusher. Now, I'm gonna teach you a few fundamentals first then we'll go into a formation. Then I'll show you some drills you can use to make sure that they're doing it correctly. So a couple key fundamentals right up front. Your rusher needs to have number one, speed and acceleration. That means from their stance, which I'll show you in just a minute, they need to be able to uh, immediately jump off the ball and get there as fast as they possibly can to pull those flags. Speed and acceleration is fundamental number one. Number two is control. Control, what does that mean? Well, if I'm running toward the quarterback, okay, and I'm going as fast as I possibly can, and then the quarterback just makes one little move, all you have to do is make one move, and I run right past him or I can't stop and change directions once I get to that quarterback, I'm gone. I could be as fast as I possibly could, but if I can't control my body, if I can't control being able to quickly adjust and adapt to what that quarterback does, not effective. Number two is control. Number three whew, is awareness. Look, as you get a little bit further along in your coaching career here, you'll notice that some teams are pretty good at doing the two count or the three count. So if I'm a rusher and I am watching that quarterback and he goes, ready, go, or he says hike or whatever that cadence is and I immediately start running, but it was actually on two so the quarterback actually went like this, ready, go, and nobody moved. But I, as a rusher, went, now I can't rush. So if I am basically off sides as the rusher, then all of a sudden, I can't rush. So I need to have the awareness to watch, are they gonna count on three? Are they gonna hike the ball on two? 
are they just gonna hike the ball right away? So I need to be watching that ball. And the second they go, ready, go. Ready, go. Then I go, right? As soon as that ball goes off the ground into the quarterback's hands, that's when I can move. Otherwise, I am, boom, basically disqualified, not able to rush. So those are three of the kind of fundamentals for the rusher themselves. But let's look at our field here. We have our line of scrimmage, which is our ball here. I'm terrible at this, okay? We have our quarterback here. Now, sometimes the quarterback's gonna be under center, which means they're right next to that center, right on top of them or they could be shotgun, which is about five to seven yards away. But we'll keep it just like this for now. And then we have a defense set out here. We have two defensive backs. That's the ones that are closest to the line of scrimmage. Okay, so you have one here, one here. Then you have two safeties, which are back here. One here, one here. And then you have your rusher in the middle. Now, you can switch this up, change it, but this is called the Husker. Now, one of my favorite coaches who I respect greatly kind of taught me this, so uh, it's awesome. But what you wanna do here, you have to set your rusher, whether they're gonna be here, here, maybe over here, wherever they're going to be, the rusher has to be seven yards away from the line of scrimmage, okay? And usually the ref will put like a little, they call it a puck, usually they'll put a little puck down, a flag or something, to show like where that line is, but you need to make sure that the rusher is going to be off the line of scrimmage seven yards back. So make sure that, that that's happening. And for whatever league you're in, just make sure you know the rules around that. So I have a rusher, okay? Let's say they're here, but part of this, this Husker kind of strategy is that, okay, this looks like the rusher, but actually on some of these i'm going to actually give these guys colors so if i say red red it's going to be this guy rushing or it could be blue which is going to be this person rushing or black which could be this person rushing so the quarterback never really knows who the actual rusher is now on the kind of beginner teams what happens is you know who that rusher is they're ready and they're like can i be rusher can i be rusher yeah and then they go out there and they're like, okay, he's rushing. So the quarterback just knows right away, okay, that person's rushing. All I have to do is do a quick roll out, not a big deal. So switch it up so that they don't know where the rusher is coming from. Now, another thing you can do, if you get a team that is constantly running, just running, 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 you can also try, okay, and shut them down with two rushers. So you can send two rushers, all right? And you can have two rushers coming, boom. Now the thing about a rusher is you wanna set them off just a little bit away from the center because they need to have a clear line to the quarterback. So in most leagues, this center, or let's say you have a running back right here, they cannot block the line Okay, there needs to be a clear line between the rusher and the quarterback. So they cannot block at all. They can't even get in the way. So if this center just kind of wants to stand there, uh-uh, they gotta get out of the way so that there's a clear line, okay, clear line to that, to that quarterback, okay? So play around with that, but here's what I like to do. To build my speed, to build my acceleration, first of all, there's some videos that are out there in my playlists that are all about speed and conditioning. I would do that. Now, what I've done here, and the reason I keep coming back to my backyard is because it has a nice little uphill. But what I would do is I would set this on an uphill so that I am constantly training my rushers to run uphill so that when they have a flat surface, they're just like, right? But here's what you wanna do. You gotta make sure that they can stop, right? Stop on a dime and adjust to whatever the quarterback is doing. Because as you saw in our last video with our quarterback, we're just trying to do one quick move, toss. One quick move, toss. So if I can adjust to that quick move, boom, all right? Now let's play around. Let me show you something. So I have to be seven yards off the line of scrimmage, right? And my, 
my stance is the same whether I'm a safety, whether I'm a defensive back. I'm going to be just like this. I've got comfortable position, right? And I have my eye on the ball so I know when is it going to be snapped, right? And I'm ready to go. Now, I like to offset this rusher just a little bit if this is going to be my guy so that I can immediately come off and go right toward that quarterback. Boom. Now let me show you a couple drills to get your rushers to advance in those three areas. Speed and acceleration, control, and awareness. Let's work on awareness first. Come with me. All right, now we're out here in the field, right? So, so let's get a, a closer look, right? Remember, this is our line of scrimmage right here, and I've got my quarterback, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do for this awareness drill is you're gonna get your rushers out here. Now, these far cones that you see here, those are safeties, right? But, like we just said, they might become rushers as well. So I'm gonna put a couple of, let's say two here, say two defenders here, and let's put a couple here as well, depending on your team. And then I wanna have a, a, uh, a center, and I wanna have a, uh, a quarterback here. Okay, and I want them to practice the awareness. Now, awareness means that I want them to know when to actually jump off the ball. So the second that is hiked, that could be on one, it could be on two, it could be on three. So these two, the center and my quarterback here, are going to decide, okay, let's go on three. Hey, let's go on two right now. And all that's gonna happen is this. Center is gonna hike the ball. Ready, go. Ready, go. Right? If that's on two, I hike it right on two. Boom. Ready, go. 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 Three. Right? Ready, go. On one. And what you wanna do is you want, so let's say this is red, this is blue, and this is black. You're gonna call out. Blah! That means this guy now is the rusher, right? And now they're gonna go on once that ball is hiked. They don't know if it's two, they don't know if it's three, they don't know if it's one, but immediately when they hear, let's say it's on one. Ready, go! Boom! But Three. Ready, go. Oh, offsides, gone, back to the line. Cannot rush. That starts to get their awareness. Then you call red. That means the person on this cone will go. All right, black, that means this one. All right, green or blue, that means this one, right? So you start kind of giving them that awareness that, okay, I'm gonna be the rusher right now. They're still in their position no matter what. They're still ready to go, but the second they're called, okay, black, right? Boom. Or you just come over to them and you have a nice little huddle here. <clears throat> huddle on the defense. You just come over and you call it. Because this quarterback will figure out pretty fast what it's going to be who's black, who's red, who's green. So you don't have to call it. You can literally just be like, and you can tell them who's gonna, who's gonna rush, right? All right, blue, 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 blue. Or if you wanna give some leadership, have this person, right? Choose who's rushing. That's some fun right there. So that is awareness, okay? Now, let's talk about control. If I am the quarterback, okay, and I can make a couple moves, then I'm gonna challenge these kids at a higher level so when they actually face their real competition, they'll actually have a little bit easier time. Now I'm giving myself a little bit of credit, but basically what I want you to do for this control is I want you to be the quarterback or whether it's your fastest quarterback or your best quarterback or your <coughs> fastest parent, whatever, I want that person to be the quarterback for this drill. Here's how it works. 
same principle out there, okay? You have your, your red, you have your blue, and you have your black, okay? Now what's gonna happen though is on ready, go. Now they're gonna come at me and I'm going to make my move, right? I'm gonna make a move, throw it down the field. Make my move and throw it down the field. Now this is control. Here's what I want to have happen. What we're focusing on now is their ability to run as fast as they possibly can toward me as the quarterback. And instead of just reaching for those flags, <coughs> for them to get into their breakdown. Okay? This is control. Ready, go. Boom. So, remember your fundamentals of breaking down. If I'm a defender, my breakdown is I get low. I open myself up and I'm looking at the waist of that quarterback. I'm not looking at the eyes. The, the eyes, those are so deceiving for a lot of these good quarterbacks. I'm looking right here. Because that guy could do anything they want. If I'm looking at their shoes, if I'm looking at the ball, if I'm looking at their face, uh -uh. I need to break down, control, look at their waist, and now I get in there, pull both those flags at the handle. So remember your fundamentals. It's not that you're super fast and you're unbelievable because what happens most of the time is you run right past that quarterback, they make one move and you're gone. And then you're chasing them, okay? So that's a great one. You can still have them. You don't know where it's coming, okay? But your fastest, most agile quarterback, I want them to make moves. And that's that drill. And then the next level is you have two, okay? You have two coming. All right, so it could be red and black is coming. Whew. But what does that mean? If two rushers are coming, well, that means that opens up the field. <clears throat> if I make one quick move, if I make one quick move, I can throw it over the top, boom. So it opens up out here. Now, last key fundamental, when you are rushing and deciding how to shut down this defense, it's not just about the rusher. It is also about these defensive backs and these safeties being able to cover when that rusher is coming. So as that rusher is coming, this whole entire team needs to work together to shut down the <clears throat> wide receivers, the center, and the running back. Anybody who's going out for a pass, right? They need to shut this down to fill that gap. So if this person is rushing, well, this guy can't just move up. Now there's a huge hole here where this person is left. And all this quarterback has to do is come over the top, is make one move, come over the top. So as I always say, it's a team effort. So you can't just focus on just the rusher itself. You gotta make sure it's all coming together. A couple last fundamentals to help you out. If I have, a quarterback who always goes to the right, right? I'm rolling out to the right. I'm right-handed and I'm super fast at running and throwing the ball with my right hand. Where do you want to rush? And that is exactly right. You want to come from this side so you can shut down my good side. Because if I'm having to run back like this, right, you shut this side down that I'm really good at, I'm having to either run back like this or I'm having to run like this and then throw, what, across my body? There's not a lot of Patrick Mahomes out there, all right? You want to watch the quarterback and see where their strong side is and shut that down. If you keep coming after me, this way, all I have to do is run this way, boom, dump it off. That's what makes Bill Belichick so effective. Love him or hate him, <clears throat> he adjusts to that offense 
right? So that he's calling the defense the exact way that it should be. So work on your formations, shut down my strong side. So I get a lot of questions about this, so feel free to put in the comments any kind of questions. Now, if you need some more defense techniques and drills, make sure you grab my defense drill pack that has 15 of my best drills. It is a ridiculously low price. It will show you exactly how to do it. It will give you instructions. It will give you videos. It will give you everything you need to effectively build a shutdown defense. And if you're looking for playbooks, look, you gotta ask yourself, am I looking for an all-in-one playbook that has everything, templates and practice schedule templates and plays galore, or am I looking for an age-based playbook? Either way, go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com, make sure you get that 10% off, and boom, you can download it instantly. Look, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and then slam that bell so you never miss a video. We do this every single week. And make sure you comment. I love to respond to your comments, so please do that. Like this video and of course share. Look, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.